tell you, man. Stop recording, it says. Whenever I click it, I click start recording. Did I already repeat this in that last? I don't think I did. I click, re- I click start recording on my Logitech quick cam thing. And then the next setting is, you know, you click the same button to stop the recording. But as soon as I click start recording, it switches and it says, stop recording. And I'm like, I get this impulse like, stop recording. What am I doing? Why am I recording this? What do I, what do I need to say here? And it's like, I guess, you know, wait, let other people record me and like talk at their pace rather than like trying to like pace it myself, you know, like, boom, 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 boom. But, um, I, I just, I, I had to tell you, I ate so much shitty food last night that I felt like junk. Like, I, I, I ate so much pasta. Not that pasta shitty food, but a lot of it is. And then I fucking took my Parmesan cheese, dude, and I ate it. Like, I just took the trash out. Like, I, I ate the whole thing. I, it was like this much Parmesan cheese left in the canister. So I just put it in my hand and eat it. Put my hand and eat it and, like, lick it off my hand and make, do more than I unscrewed it. And I, I used this pen to, to, like, dig it out of the bottom and then, like, eat it out. <laughs> it's fucking gross, dude. So much cheese. And, and my thinking was, if I drink enough water, I'll be all right. Like, I can pass it out of my body. I'll be fine. doesn't matter what I eat, really. I mean, it matters what I eat. I don't eat a lot of fast food these days, but... I figured, like, I could eat a lot of pasta. I didn't mean to eat too, that much pasta, but I ended up making a lot, and I ate it all. So then right before I went to bed, um, oh, I also ate oatmeal. <laughs> Dude, it was so much carbs. I don't know what my deal was. Um, I was like, all right, right before I went to bed, I drank a bunch of water. And it was like, I, I just kept drinking water. Like, I was just drinking a bunch of water, and then it was filling me up. And I thought, for sure, I'm going to get up in the middle of the night and have to pee. And I woke up this morning, and I had to pee a little bit, and I peed in the shower, and it, no, no, I went to the bathroom, I think. I don't remember. Like, I think I might just, but anyway, it was like really yellow, so apparently my body needed all that water last night. And then some. Mmm. The whole point. But like, that shitty food fucks me up, dude. Shitty food, like, a lot of crappy food or a lot of the same kind of food makes it so it's real difficult for me to think and breathe and relax, like, I, or for someone to lay on me, it's too much, like, I can't take it when I have a full stomach of junk. Maybe other food would be better, like, if I had a little bit of, like, turkey and potato and fruit and... A little bit of vegetable with a little bit of maybe a little bit of wine. I could and, and like a good portion of that, I could probably eat it and feel okay. But if I eat that much pasta, I'm like, <sighs> and this is like a long time coming for me because I, I, I really like pasta. I really like eating a full plate of pasta. It fills me up, and it tastes so good with the sauce. Like I get this prego mini meatball sauce. It's just like. The taste is like it's so good. I mean, I can't really describe taste. But it's meaty, it's hearty, it's tangy, it's zesty. It's acidic, but not but but malnutrific, I thought. Malnutritic. Trific. It's not very good for you. It's not very good for me. I shouldn't eat it. Not in the not in the doses that I do. And I'll go like weeks without eating it or something, and then I'll it just stays good, pasta. So I'll go in the cupboard and I'll have like three bags of pasta and all this, all these cans of pasta sauce and I'll overindulge. And a couple days ago I, I just had a little bit and it was so much better. Um, so I ate all that pasta. I felt like a fucking douche. And then I got up and I felt full. I still feel kind of gunky. I'm like, ugh, I gotta eat maybe spinach or something. Um, But what I wanted to know was, do you guys like it better when I'm on YouTube and I'm, like, calling people out? Or is that just what I did a couple years ago or a year ago? A couple years ago, probably, like, that whole, like, all those video responses and stuff. And, like, because I'll watch people's videos and every once in a while they'll say something and I'll be like, no, that's not right. That's not logically, it doesn't logically make sense. Or logically that points to that. And I'll, I'll 
I'll say it to him, and other people will be like, dude, you're a dick. But other people will be like, yeah, yeah, go, say it, call him out. So should I do that more, or should I just totally chill on the YouTube, keep playing guitar, pluck it on the lead, dude, and just let other people document me and like force me into conversation by asking me questions? That might be better. It's getting easier to keep my thoughts to myself. Alcohol helps because it induces calmness in my body so I can like go into the rhythm, but the breathing kind of induces the calmness so I can go into the rhythm. Like simple like. Like I was just visualizing a drum beat, like hearing a drum beat in my mind. And I'm still doing it. There's like a drum beat that whole time. It makes it, it makes me more comfortable when I do it. So uh, the people around me are more comfortable when I do it. So that it's a good way to be. I guess I'm like going on to the next stage of my life. It's fun though, all that like talking and growing up. It's fun growing up. Now I'm up and I gotta like go places, you know? It's like fun taking off, but then you gotta fly somewhere. And watch for turbulence. But the great thing is we're not actually airplanes, we're humans and we're made of water, so the other humans will lift you up. Or me up, or however you want to look at it, if you're calm. Buoyancy. Buoyancy. Hey, boy. Yeah, boy. Um. Say two. Por. I always think ahora is now, but I think it's today. Say tu para aquí. That's all for here. Oh, sorry to subject you to that this this mess here at the end. I'm just like. I want the the perfect uh Perfect ending. Did I show you guys this? I, like, I made some of these. Here, get one of these and one of these. This is a crank charger phone. I'm sorry, a crank charger uh, flashlight, radio, and cell phone charger. This is a solar powered cell phone charger. This actually doesn't have the attachment for the iPhone. It doesn't have the USB connector that I could find. But this one does. Get these if you want. If you don't, I mean, they're cheap, kind of. This is like 29 bucks for the, the battery charger, and the, the phone was like the same kind of thing, like 25 bucks ish. And, um, you know. Just alternate sources of power other than getting out of the wall, like relying on the power grid. It's cool to get it from the sun. Okay, see you.